Ndipo hivi sasa naomba ni kurejeshe tena kwa mwanahabari mwenzangu Lofti Matambo ambaye yuko katika kijiji, kijiji cha Kogelo kule ambako tunaangazia angazia matarajio na maandalizi ya ujio wa rais alikuwa rais wa Marekani Barack Obama ambaye anatarajiwa kuwa katika maeneo hayo katika siku ya Jumatatu Lofti na kurudisha kwako labda kumalizia malizia tu utuelezee kinachoendelea hivi sasa na wenyeji hisia zao ambapo baadhi wanasema hawaelewi kunaendelea nini kulikoni <laughs> na ma, ma, manzu uh, kunradhi kutoka hapa kwa ajili ya ama kwa sababu ya hitilafu za kimitambo kuganda ganda kwa zile picha lakini sasa hivi ni kuna wakazi karibu nami hapa ambapo tumetafuta pahali swafi ambapo mtandao uko sawa kabisa kuweza kupata maoni yao kabla kumalizia na ile shajara yatakachojiri hapa siku ya Jumapili na Jumatatu haswa na moja kwa moja karibu nami hapa ni binti ambaye nilikuwa awali nazungumza naye yuko nami pengine utuambie tena majina yako alafu utueleze kufahamu kwako ujio wa Barack Obama na labda unatarajia nini kama mwanakogelo uh, from my name I'm called Lynette Aworo Dori I work with an organization known as Pendeza Africa Pendeza Africa we are based in Kogelo we are just next to Sautiku yeah mm, with Barack Obama tangu nianze kufanya kazi hapa that was when I heard of him he is a son from this place uh, ni mzaliwa wa huku their home is just next to our organization Yeah. Uh, kutoka hapa tulipo paka nyumbani kwa kina Obama ni kama mita 400 hivi si mbali sana lakini nimezungumza na baadhi ya vijana pale hawataki kuzungumza nami wanasema hawana habari na hayo mambo ama kama wanajua lakini kama hawahusiki vilivyo kwa nini we hivi Yeah according to that you find that uh, with the youths who are around this place it's not easy for them to open up because Actually most youths are not uh, they are idle they lack what to do they don't have jobs so you find that most of the time they are just uh, talking of different things not the things that can make them develop anything mm -hmm. mm. na, na wewe unasema kwamba unakaa karibu pale je utaweza kuingia tumepata fununu kwamba utahitajika mtu kulipa 200 ni ukweli ama ni hekaya za bunuasi na iwapo ni ukweli umejiandaje kufika pale wewe Yeah according to me I don't think if that is true because I'm just from Sautiku organization right now and I have my card with me I've just received my card now from Sautiku and I'll be one of the visitors who will get into that place Umeipataje hii card wewe Ah uh, hapo awali nilikwambia vizuri nafanya na organization known as Pendeza Africa we are based next to Sautiku so you find that uh, being that we are next to Sautiku two of our staff members were invited that was me and my colleague Florence Odegi and before they took our details that was their name the name id number and the phone number so those were the details that were taken before and those those were what they were going to use for the card na masante sana wacha nizungumze pia na bwana fulani hapa ili tuweze kumalizia manzu jina lako tumepata dada hapa yeye ako na matarajio kwamba ataingia pale tupe jina lako na wewe pia matarajio yako ya ujio wa obama na wapo utapata nafasi ya kufika pale sauti kuu kwa majina naitwa hussein rajula natoka Kogelo kwa kina Obama na village ile natoka ni Katuda pale sauti kuu iko pale nini president mwenyewe atakuja sasa mimi matarajio yangu tangu awe president hajaifika huku kwetu na kitu tunashukuru Mungu ni kwamba nini this time anakuja na atafika huku dhi kwetu sasa tunashukuru sana alafu sasa zile vitu tunatarajia kuna tofauti ni vitu kama infrastructure hivi vitu kama barabara hospitali unapata kwa size unaweza pata kwa hospitali hakuna dawa unaenda unatibiwa badala upewe dawa unapewa barua ende kwa chemist ununue dawa vitu kama hizo tunatarajia zitaenda kuangaliliwa barabara zetu zingine kwa shida mvue kinyasha kupitiki kama vile hiyo mvue ilikuwa inanyesha juzi juzi tumekuwa shida wa sehemu zingine lakini sasa hizi nadhani kwa ujio wake hapa hivi vitu labda zitabadilika yeah na sana bila shaka hayo ndio matumaini ya wakenya na manzu ni kiregesha kwako ni kwamba Uh, tunavyofahamu hivi sasa ni kwamba ijapo wengi hawatafika katika kituo cha sauti kuu tumezungumza na kaunti ya Siaya yake Colonel Rasanga na ni kwamba kuna 
kaunti ndogo sita hapa na hizi kaunti ndogo sita kutakuwa kutatundikwa uh, zile runinga kubwa ukipenda vichupa vile vikubwa ambavyo watakuwa nafuatilia kutoka hapa Alego Songo uh, kule Rarieda na maeneo mengine yote yale sita ambazo ndo na ni uh, zile kaunti ndogo ili waweze kufuatilia kitakachokuwa kinaendelea siku ya Jumatatu hapa kumbuka kwamba mwaka 2015 uh, Obama alipokuwa rais wa Marekani alipofika hapa alisema kwamba atakuja hapa akiwa hana minyororo ya uongozi wa Marekani ili aweze kutangamana na wananchi lakini kinachodhihirika ni kwamba ile minyororo bado wako nayo manake hataweza kuingiliana kwa karibu sana na wana kijiji hapa kutokana na hali ile ya usalama na ni kwamba ni kama shughuli zake nyingi sana atafanya kule Afrika Kusini ambako wataondoka hapa tarehe 16 akwende kule na tarehe 17 ambapo atakuwa na mkao na rais wa sasa Siri Ramaphosa alafu vile vile atoe hutuba yake rasmi katika ule wakfu wa Nelson Mandela kuzungumza na kikosi ama hadhira ya watu mbili ambao wameandaliwa viongozi wa Afrika katika wakfu wake Barack Obama Foundation pamoja na shule nyingine. Kwa hivyo hivyo ndio itakavyokuwa. Hapa itakuwa tu ni mkutano hapa, alafu zaidi mengi yatafanyika kule Afrika Kusini. Manzu tuko hapa tunakuletea taarifa kama zinavyojiri na mtazamaji. Tutakuwa tunatembelea pia shule ambazo zimeitwa kwa jina lake na taarifa hiyo tutakuandalia ifikapo saa moja Manzu mtazamaji atakuwa anaipata kwa kina kwa kilindi kwa marefu na mapana kwako manzo Asante sana kaka Lofti Mrima Matambo kwa taarifa hiyo ambayo umetuletea moja kwa moja kutoka katika kaunti ya Siaya kijiji cha Kogelo kule ambako ziara ya alikuwa rais wa Marekani Barack Obama anatarajiwa kufika maeneo hayo na kuanzisha mradi mmoja maalum sana wa maswala ambayo atakuwa anasaidia jamii katika sehemu ile